here's my lab set up in uh, Workbench in EVNG. There's my live firewall that's already configured. And I've added a secondary firewall in. You'll notice that each of the ports, for example, port 1 is going to LAN, port 2 is going to the WAN connection, and ports 3 and 4 are both used for failover are the same on both firewalls. So, as I said, this one's already probably configured. It's got all my policies on. It's ready to rock and roll. The secondary one has just been plugged in. It's been given a public IP so it can report in. It's been licensed. More importantly, it's got exactly the same hardware on the standby as it will have on the primary. Another thing to remember is that both the firewalls are on the same firmware version. And you also need to ensure that any of the ports or interfaces connect to the firewall and not getting their IP address via DHCP or via PPPoE. So as I said earlier, my standby firewall is plugged in. It does have IP addresses, it's connected to the internet and it's, and it's updated and licensed and it's ready to go. The config on it will get overwritten when it's brought into the failover cluster. So on the primary, got system HA, by default it being standalone mode, change it to active passive. By default, the priority will be 128. I'm going to change this one to 200. I'm going to put in a group name that must match on the secondary firewall and a password that also must match with the setup on the secondary firewall. I'm going to enable session pickup so that all my um, LAN session information is replicated between the two firewalls. And I'm going to add in ports 3 and 4 to be used as heartbeat interfaces. You can change the priority on there, but I'm just going to leave it blank and then we'll use them with equal priority. And click OK. And you should see something very similar to this. So jump over onto the secondary firewall and do exactly the same thing again, but this time it will set a lower priority. So remember the other one we set to 200, we'll set this one to 100. <laughs> Make sure the group name and password matches what we set on the primary firewall. I'm not monitoring any particular interfaces and I'm setting the heartbeat interfaces to be the same. Clicking OK. Now, for the sake of the video, I've sped this up. Usually it takes about five or 10 minutes. It will pick it up, the secondary one. It will see that it's out of sync and then it will replicate all the changes across and when it's finished, it will look like this. In practicality, that will take quite a while longer, so please be patient. Now, to prove it's not all smoke and mirrors, if I jump across onto one of the servers that's behind the firewall, and I send some traffic out to the internet, and we fill the firewalls over, I'm just going to send set a persistent ping off to Google. Now if I shut down my primary firewall, just jump back on the server and see that's how that's affected traffic. We've dropped one ping packet while the firewalls have filled over. You can see that the primary firewall is actually turned off and all traffic is now going through to stand by a secondary firewall. That's us done. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to come and visit us at www.petenetlife.com.